Have you ever wondered how much poop everyone produces on this beautiful planet Earth? Well, today you're going to find out. My name is Anton and this is a channel called What The Math. Today we're talking about our planet Earth and poop, trash and all of the other stuff that we don't really usually like to talk about. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So in one of the previous videos we've discussed various problems such as carbon dioxide, amount of carbon on our planet Earth, and I've also demonstrated to you how much car carbon we actually have in total in comparison to this beautiful sphere known as Earth. Today we're going to take a slightly different approach, slightly less serious, I guess more silly approach, and we're going to talk about how much waste each of us produces, and we're going to start with something a little bit, I guess, less mature, feces, or poop as it's more commonly known. So let's actually talk about how much poop we all produce and have produced over the entire history of humanity. Because why not, right? Anyway, let's start with the first question. So each of us, specifically you and I, have a certain amount of poop we produce. A single person usually produces about 180 kilograms or about 360 pounds of poop per year. In other words, you're pooping out a person, no, actually two people per year. That's how much. And to help you visualize, here is what this little rock looks like. This is essentially the amount of feces a person, one person uh, on average produces per year. Now, this is a very small uh, uh, chunk. This is only about 0.5 meters in radius. Uh, let me just slow this down a little bit so you can see it in a little bit more detail. And just for a comparison, let's put uh, something that you may be familiar with. For example, Here's what a soccer ball looks next to it, like. So this is a soccer ball, here's a basketball. Basically, it's a relatively large chunk. Basically, and in other words, it's actually like two people in, in mass. All right, so that's uh, per year. Over your lifetime, and here we're talking about the average lifespan of a human being of, of about 70 years. Uh, over a lifetime, you'll produce this much. So it's a chunk almost two meters in radius, and it's about 12 tons in, uh, in total. So that's about uh, close to 25,000 pounds. And in comparison to basketball, it is not much bigger than before, but I guess quite much bigger. So this is essentially size of an elephant. But that's of course only one person. We know that today on Earth there's about 7.4 billion people. So we're going to multiply this by 7.4 billion to get this. And here we go. So the size of this object, this is poop of everyone on Earth over the lifetime is close to about uh, 3,300 uh, meters, 3,400 meters even. And the total mass here is about 90 billion tons. Now this is total amount of poop produced by everyone on the planet currently. So everyone who's currently alive. But what about the total number of all of the humans who have ever lived? Now we know that uh, if we actually calculate the number of total humans from the beginning of uh, when the human race even started, there, there was approximately 108 billion people in total, which means that this rock will actually grow even more because 108 billion people would have produced this much. And so here's our new rock called human poop. It's about 8,000 uh, meters in radius and its total mass is about 1.3 times 10 to the power of 15 kilograms. That is a very, very massive rock. This is, a, as a matter of fact, as big as the rock that hit our planet about 65,000 years ago and may have caused the extinction of dinosaurs. So that's interesting, but here we're not going to end on this, obviously. We're going to keep talking about the trash and the garbage that humans produce as well. So the thing about human poop is that, well, first of all, we're going to actually stop this rock and make it collide with our planet Earth so you can actually see what kind of a collision effect will have and what kind of damage it may do to our planet if suddenly all of the poop, historical human poop decided to collide with our planet Earth. And just to kind of give you once again a comparison of size here, so a basketball now is very, very, very tiny, almost invisible uh, next to it, but we can choose a slightly bigger object. For example, here is the third stage from Apollo, and this is kind of more visible, I guess. It's slightly easier to see. I'm going to zoom in here. So there's the third stage of Apollo in comparison to the entire amount of poop of the human race. Now, let's stop this rock and make it collide with our planet Earth. It's going to fall onto the planet and possibly cause just as much damage as the asteroid that destroyed the dinosaurs. And actually, ironically, we're falling very close to the asteroid that actually did collide with our planet right here next to Mexico. And here we go. This is on the other side of Mexico. So not a very big collision, but it would obviously produce a very large crater that would be about this big. 
and cause tsunamis and all kinds of destruction. Now that's not it. So we've talked about poop and the thing about poop is that it is recyclable. It is 100% recyclable. It will return to our planet Earth. It will be used by other creatures. It will be used by other animals and will obviously not create any kind of a permanent trash on our planet. However, humans have also started producing waste that is unrecyclable. And here we're actually talking about all kinds of things like plastics and all kinds of heavy earths that we use in our smartphones and our um, computers that are actually not recyclable, that will probably stay on our planet for a very, very long time. And actually, there's a study by um, Duke University, I believe it's actually called Sustainability Study, that discovered that every year, an average person produces about 4.3 pounds of waste, which is about two over two kilograms. In other words, we produce four times more waste that is unrecyclable than we do poop. And so every year on average, a person in the United States produces about this much in simple trash and garbage and stuff that is not recyclable that usually ends up in the landfills. In comparison to, once again, a bowl, this is what it looks like. So it may not look like a very large object, but this is the stuff that will not be recycled. It will end up in a landfill and will probably stay on our planet for a very long time. And this is per year. This actually is uh, dependent on where you live. So in certain cultures, like for example, in many African countries, this is a much smaller object. It's probably even as big as this basketball. However, in certain countries, uh, like for example, for some reason, Saudi Arabia, this is even larger. So on average, this is how much all humans produce um, around the world. All humans produce about this much stuff per year that will end up in a landfill. And this number has actually, or I guess this pile has actually increased over the past 40, 40 to 50 years. Uh, in 1960s, this used to be about three times smaller and pre-industrial age. So here we're talking about 1800s, 1700s. This was much, much smaller. It was probably size of this golf ball right here. So we have started to produce a huge amount of trash. Now, let me show you how much this is. If we consider the entire human race right now, 7.4 billion people. And so here it is, here is the amount of trash that human beings, 7.4 billion people, will have produced over the next 70 years that will actually end up in a landfill, that will not be recycled, that will actually stay on our planet Earth. This is a rock that's about 5.5 kilometers in radius. It is, once again, just almost as large as the previous rock, uh, maybe about three times less in terms of mass at least, but still a very large object that will obviously cause extinction if it does crash on our planet Earth. And uh, here it is in comparison to some of the human-made objects that you might be familiar with. Like, for example, once again, third stage of Apollo. Let's put it next to it and zoom into it and check it out. This is how small this object is in comparison to the entire junk that we'll produce by the time that I guess we're all dead. Now, this is only 7.4 billion people that are currently living on Earth, but we're obviously going to have more people and we're very likely are going to produce even more trash by 2030, by 2040. It might even double. So this rock might actually get even bigger. And once again, this is a type of a trash that is not going to get recycled. This is something that will stay on our planet. So I'm going to give you zero velocity here again. And let's actually give this rock a little bit more velocity so that you get to see what happens when it crashes on our planet just to kind of give you an idea of how big and how powerful this would be i'm gonna give it a velocity of about 10 kilometers per second and so this is basically an a type of a meteorite that will very likely cause extinction on our planet create huge tsunamis and obviously kill many different species but th all of this is essentially trash that each of us produces, including myself, I'm also guilty, I have recently bought a new phone, my old phone has been thrown away, so it kind of added to this huge rock that I just collided with our planet Earth. So essentially, all I wanted you to see in this video is, well, first of all, yes, we do produce a lot of poop, we also produce a lot of trash, but unlike poop that is recycled and will probably get returned into our planet, uh, carbon cycle that will very likely not really affect our planet at all, this type of a trash, unrecyclable trash, is going to stay here for good. And we need to kind of start thinking on how we can avoid that, because if we keep creating this much trash over the next hundred years, we're going to have problem filling in all of those landfills. And it's going to create a very, very large problem for our planet in the future as well. 
But anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you in this little video. I know this was a little bit more silly and less serious than usual, but you know what? I figured someone asked this question and I wanted to answer it by using a little bit of science. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for all of your support. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye.